Hey guys, how you doing today? It's Steve on the Guru Brew. Today I thought we'd go ahead and recap this monitor. This is a Dynax 19 inch. It's been a pretty good monitor, but recently the blacks have had green stripes in it and uh, I think it's in need of a cap job. So let's go ahead and bust this open and I'll show you the procedure. Let's get started with that. <laughs> Okay, we have the cover off and the part that we're interested in is right here, this circuit board. This is our power board and this supplies power to our backlights as well as our LCD and our main processor. So our problem is probably in these caps. We're going to take this board out of here and start checking these caps. So let's go ahead and do that now. Here's a closer look at this power board. And as you can see, this power board supports four lamps for the backlight. What we're interested in looking at are these caps right here. And you should be able to see that these are bulged up. The top of them kind of puffs up a little bit. So we definitely have some bad capacitors here. I'll get the ESR meter out and we'll check just for this video so I can show you how to check them. You should probably check them even if they're not bulged just to be sure if you're doing the work you might as well do it right. Down in here this white stuff this is like a rubber silicone and they typically put that around coils and you can see it's surrounding these two coils here. Anyway we're gonna have to take a knife and try to trim that out of there before we can get these caps out of there which makes it an extra pain so anyway, what I did is I, I located all the caps on the back and I used a Sharpie and I circled them and I also numbered them. And then I made myself a little diagram and it tells me what cap is where and I've numbered them. So it just makes the process go a little bit smoother. I've got the replacement caps here. I've got enough to do them all plus some. But again, we'll use the ESR tester and test them out. And once I cut this uh, glue stuff away or silicone with my knife, we'll use the desoldering braid, um, my super solder sucker, and this pump. We'll get them out that way. So I'm just going to use an X Acto blade and carefully carve away this silicone sealant that is around these capacitors and I have to be very careful that I don't cut the inductor that's there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then we'll heat them up from the back and see if we can't get, get them pulled out of there. So let's use our ESR meter here and check a couple of these caps. Let's go ahead and check this one that's bulging a little bit. I've got it marked out here on the back and that is a 470 microfarad at 25 volts. It's saying that our ESR is 21 ohms which is way too high and you can use this book and find you know what you're looking for. Here's 4725 volt. So we should be 0.29. And we just got 21 ohms. So anyway, that was a pretty obvious one because it was bulged out. But I just wanted to show you how to use the ESR meter. And if you're interested in the ESR meter, I've got other videos. And I also will put a link in the description. You can buy your own. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and heat up the iron and start pulling these caps out of there.
I've put all the new caps in except for this one. I saved it to show you that you need to put the polarity symbol in the negative. This stripe line right down here, you want to make sure that that goes to there. It doesn't matter. Push it in, bend over the leads. And then just start putting them in. So there it is, with all the new caps installed. Looks good. I went ahead and very carefully checked all the connections with this magnifying glass and made sure that everything was properly connected. So all that remains now is to put this together and give it a try. Now as far as the big filter cap is concerned, generally these do not wear out and it's very rare so I used to change these out and then I learned that they practically last forever so I quit doing it and I went ahead and checked this one it was fine anyway let's get this thing back together see if it works Well, look at here. There's no surprise that this is now working after seeing those bulging caps. But the picture looks really nice, and the blacks are black instead of that green stripe that it had. And I'm using the Raspberry Pi with the HDMI output to test it. And this is really handy. You can just plug it in without lugging a complete computer around. I wanted to show you where I got my parts real quick this is Tata Electronics and if you just order a few and you don't want to worry about minimums and really good prices this is a good company to use they always ship fast and I like how they individually bag everything and like I said the prices are really good with no minimum quantities I hope you got some use out of this video leave me a comment below and let me know if you'd like to see more of these and we'll see you on the next one thanks for watching Bye for now.